What's up everybody? This is part two of our kitchen tiling project. We've already changed the tiles in our kitchen. Now I need to seal them and then I'm going to install some 3D printed under cabinet lights. Let's get started. All right, for the next step, we are using grout sealer, which basically puts a coating on the grout and keeps it from getting stained in the kitchen from general wear and tear because the bright white grout, we want to keep it as clean as possible. It's just a little like squirt bottle, so I'm gonna put some on a towel, wipe it on the walls, wait a couple of minutes, and follow it up with a dry towel, and that's it, here we go. I ended up switching, I just put a spray nozzle on the grout sealer from a different product. So what I'm gonna work on next is the under cabinet lights. I've attached this to the 110 volt line coming in and I'm gonna wire in a voltage converter to take it down to 12 volts. Then I'll feed that 12 volts back into the wall where it'll go to the other two lights. And I'm gonna hide the wiring with these 3D printed covers. That are, that are meant to kind of look like our tile. These are just held on with two screws. So, should be pretty simple to install. I also printed these LED strip clips. I've noticed some of the other clips on Thingiverse are for those LED strips that are quite a bit thicker. They'll hold it nice and flat, and these 90 degree ones are good for corners. That's my plan. Uh, time to install it. This is the kind of LED strip I'll be using. And as you can see, it's just got a 12 volt female 5.5 uh, millimeter outlet on one side and the rest of it is a strip. You can cut it anywhere along these little uh, markings on the strip. See the little markings? And then it's just super thin. It's just like paper. So it's super pliable and folding is kind of how I'm gonna do the corners. And it is sticky. But because there's oil and stuff above the stove, sometimes it doesn't stick that nice, which is why you use a lot of clips. Putting this on is about exactly as hard as you'd think it would be. The hardest part was getting the little screws started into the wood and not over tightening. I ended up just hand tightening a few of them to make sure that the amount of pressure on each strip was pretty low. Luckily, I didn't tear any strips. That's it. All done. We've got the lights on. Time for the official test. A little nervous if I'm about it. Overall, we were super happy with the way this looked, especially under the microwave. These 3D printed light clips that I designed worked perfect, clipped right into the factory screws, and ended up looking really, really nice. Thank you guys so much for watching these videos. I have a lot of fun making them. Tune in, subscribe for more home projects, especially with things that are 3D printed. I've got a new puzzle box coming in uh, about a week and a half, the, the heist. That's all for now. I'm Leisure Luke. You have a great day. We'll see you in the next video.